Like a lot of people in this room, I'm afraid of dogs. Like no one in this room, I'm afraid of dogs. Like, I don't know if you guys, you know, if you're like me, like, you, you know, you see a dog off the leash, like you, you're out walking around the dog off the leash and you look at the dog and you're like, how am I gonna fight this dog? Like if it comes to it, right? You want to game plan it or whatever. Cause you think if the dog runs towards you and tries to bite you, right? If it jumps at you, front block, right? Cause we all took karate in grade six, good. And, but the problem is dogs are so fast. Like I don't know if you guys are like, are like me and you get on YouTube and obsessively watch videos of dogs attacking humans and then you can't sleep. But <laughs> if you do, you'll realize a dog is so much faster than you try to front block. He can change his mind in midair, bite you on the kidney, you're on the ground, second bite's on your throat, it's over. Like, dogs are so dangerous. That's why dogs are friendly. They're confident. They're just, they know they can take you at any point. They don't care. They're just nice about it. That's why little dogs are yappy. They're nervous. You're going to hurt them. They don't care. Like St. Bernard. St. Bernard walks around like he bangs your wife. He doesn't care. <laughs> also, I don't like monkeys. Uh... I don't like monkeys because, uh, like, I had a bad experience when I was 10 years old. My mother took me to a zoo, and there was, like, a monkey cage, and then, like, a space, and then a railing. And there was a sign that said, don't get up and lean on the railing. And my mom was like, you do not get on that railing. And I was like, but I want to get on the railing. She's like, you do not get on that railing. I was like, but the monkey wants to be my friend. And I got on the railing, and I leaned in, and a monkey jumped onto the bars, reached through them, grabbed my eyelid, and ripped it <laughs> off. You do not know terror until a monkey has taunted you with a piece of your face. Just doing all this monkey stuff. It was free. I was just crazy. I was like, oh my God, what is that? You, have you ever blinked and nothing happened? Do you know how scary that is? Blinking had always been there for me my whole life. And I was just like, oh my God, it was terrible. And it made me respect my mother more because I thought she made the monkey do that to me to teach me a lesson. Uh, there's, like a, there's like a hot bartender who like uh, works at my like, local bar where me and my buddies all hang out. We're always like, hey, check her out, she's so hot. You know how guys are. And uh, anyway, we always talk about her. And, uh, and a little while ago, through a combination of Jagger bombs and poor decision making on her part, uh, I had a chance to go home with this girl. And my friends are just like, what has happened here? And I'm like, shut up, don't ruin this. And we left. And we go back to her place and it is on. Like we are making out in the elevator, we're making out down the hallway and she is so far out of my league. I'm like, you're gonna regret this. <laughs> and as I were making out and she opens the door to her apartment and she has the biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> just a huge, like your size buddy, just a huge, I mean, you're a perfectly normal sized man, but you're so big for a dog, it's terrifying. <laughs> and I, just, I was like nervous, but I was trying to be cool about it. So I was just like, Oh, you got a dog, huh? And I don't know if you guys know anything about seduction, but one of the noises that doesn't put a lady in the mood is, oh. And she can see I'm nervous, so she's trying to talk me out of it. She's like, hey, don't even worry about it. It's not even my dog. It's my ex-boyfriend's dog. I'm just watching it while he's in jail. Pardon? <laughs> Just a big, she's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. He's out now, so he's gonna come pick it up. And I'm like, what, like right now? Is he gonna come right at like three in the morning on a Saturday? Like, I know that I don't know like anything about felons and schedules, but I do know that I can't take care of business in the bedroom if there's two things I'm afraid of, and then a third thing, which is those two things sitting on the couch really soon. <laughs> so I, I left. <laughs> Just left. I was like, well, I bid you adieu, madam. <laughs> so she knows I'm cool. And then just took off and take the elevator ride down. That's a hard elevator ride because there's a mirror in there. I had to look at myself. <laughs> terrible. All my friends had seen me leave with her, so they're all phoning me the next day. Just like, oh my God, man, how'd it go? How'd it, what happened, man? How'd it go? The absolute worst way for that story to start is, well, you know how I'm afraid of dogs? 